Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. It's going to be your reading from July 29th until August 5th. I appreciate you for tuning in. We're just going to go ahead and jump straight into jump straight into your reading. You pulled this love and light card. It says act with care. And you also pulled this guardian card. It says guard your energy. Well, I think a lot of you here are really wanting to do things your own way. You're really wanting to be assertive and take the initiative with things. And so this guardian guard your energy here is saying... You know, just to just be aware that you may get projected on or may, maybe other people won't support you or maybe you'll get some some lashback or whatever the case might be. I don't think that's for, I don't think that's I think that could be a slight chance. But more so than anything, I just think the universe is just wanting you just to be aware that, you know, you're you're taking the lead on things and you're moving forward and you're acting and you're being assertive. So, you know, it's just important to just make sure that you're not letting anything get to you. Uh, here you also pulled this like I said this love and light card. It says act with care So moving forward, it's like a lot of you are like really wanting to just assert yourself and like really wanting to take the initiative And you're wanting to take things into your own hands here And maybe some people aren't going to support you here Libra But that's where you just lift you wish them love and light, right? It's like not everybody's gonna be along with you for the journey. Not everybody's gonna support you but not everybody's on the journey that you're on and so the ones that aren't and the ones that don't want to be you know it's just being like okay you know and not taking it personal right it's like you're doing things because you want to do it and that's the way it is you did pull this gateway card down here with this diligence card this gateway card always represents some form of an opportunity so you could be getting an opportunity here or you could be ceasing an opportunity and it opens up a new door for you um, of opportunity and this diligence card is saying, allow yourself to soar, right? Allow yourself to go for what it is that you want. You pull this cicada card, it says voice. And you also pulled this water card, it says lifeblood here. See also too this week, a lot of you really starting to devote yourself to something that you really do love. And um, I think also this week, you could be really feeling connected to your spiritual side. Um, and also I want to say, if there's anything you want to communicate with the cicada voice card, and the water card because water represents emotions you know definitely get it off your chest and if you can communicate with compassion and love and understanding you know i think it's really going to help your situation let's pull your tarot now though libra let's see also too if you would like to book a personal reading with me that link will be down below in the description the readings are on sale too so let's take a look you pulled the full card you have the world card and you also pulled this ten of cups this looks like a brand new beginning here this week the overall energy you're able to let go of a past cycle you're able to step into something new it's spontaneous it's something that you're going to be desiring it's something that you're going to be wanting to do and i think it's going to give you a very good outlook with the ten of cups right ten of cups is like feeling that spiritual and emotional positivity feeling whole and complete feeling ready for something you're definitely entering into a new phase here or there's a new phase here beginning this week let's take a look at your current energy you have the eight of wands the three of pentacles here and you have the seven of cups yep i think you have new ambitions with that seven of cups there's things that you're imagining at this time that you want there's experiences here that you're wanting to create and the three of pentacles is telling me that you're already doing these things so keep doing them three of pentacles is saying you can have really anything you want Right. But you just have to devote yourself, be disciplined, do the work, you know, stick to those structures that are giving you success or that will get you success. And the sky's the limit here with the eight of wands. So don't you know, this is about going above and beyond with that eight of wands and the full card, you know, and, and really reaching for that ideal that is spiritually and emotionally fulfilling for you. A lot of ambition I'm seeing here, a lot of things that you're wanting to get underway with. Let's take a look at the future position knight of cups the emperor and you also pulled the two of swords here well you're coming up in a very strong position with this emperor you're coming in a, you're showing up in the future in a, in a position of strength and i think also too like i said that that guardian card there's a wolf which represents you know being a leader and the emperor is a leader it's someone who takes things into their own hands gets it done right and and has everything under control has everything structured and knows how to build things and so it's like you're building these things you're putting these things into order and i'm kind of seeing you have have a decision to make but i don't think it's like anything bad it's more so of like kind of what you want to do next i think you're also cultivating really good balance when it comes to um like your relationships and also yourself here and also romantically i feel this week in regards to love this looks like a good 
energy as well like there could just be more sweetness or you could be feeling more romantic or there's an energy of, uh, of just more love in general if you're single you know this could be a new person an aries a water sign it could be really any sign uh somebody that you could be getting involved with or you may know this person if you're if you're in a relationship here i feel like there's definitely good structure and routine with this relationship that's allowing things to thrive and it's also deepening the romance and the connection Re really good cards you pulled here this week you know really good cards and the full card and the world card here and that overall energy you know the fool is all about that spontaneous urge to leap into something greater and the world card is okay i'm ready for a new beginning i want to start something new or i want to take a new approach to something here or i want to let myself dream i want to go on my journey and i want to see what happens right and the ten of cups is because you have a very strong intrinsic vision right that is motivating you here and that is giving you encouragement and that is giving you confirmation to pursue your dreams or pursue the things that you're ideally wanting for yourself if you've been going through any type of rough stuff i feel like with this world card this is you know that that chapter kind of closing out let's see here clarify the full card here you have the eight of pentacles here Woo. Yep, Eight of Pentacles is, I kind of see you doing something different. Eight of Pentacles is usually the conventional ways that we usually do our work or the ways we go about things, but you could be wanting to take something and do something different here. And it's kind of spontaneous. Um, and also the full card is saying to embrace the possibilities. Anything that you have been really working hard on and putting your time and attention into, you know you're, you're making progress here and so the full card is saying here like don't limit your don't put a ceiling on yourself don't put a ceiling on yourself allow yourself to go to, to to go above and beyond here and i also see you in a very carefree attitude you know i see you being more carefree about things clarify the world card you have the three of wands here yep you're moving forward also your ship's coming in so if there's been anything that you've been waiting for i see it coming in here uh which i like so I see it coming in and I think whatever, and also too, it's like now you're ready to move forward as well. It's like you're continuously moving forward. The three of wands is all about being self-determined, moving in the direction of your ambition and your goals, taking the lead, being a leader, taking the initiative. And while you're moving forward, things are gonna come your way that you've been looking for. And also at the same time, it's like you still have this ambition to keep going. Clarify the 10 of cups. You have the nine of wands. So here's kind of like where the rough energy is coming through you know the nine of wands is like when we have faced adversity uncertainty we've been feeling the struggle our beliefs have been waxing and waning one moment we're positive next moment we're negative and it's just been this inconsistent kind of emotional roller coaster but the ten of cups is telling me that there's a restoring here that's happening especially with the world card both cards are about completion and renewals so definitely and also the ability to be in the moment and to enjoy the the, the sweetness of things so I'm seeing something here coming alive for you this week <laughs> if you've been having uncertainty this is a week to where it's like you're, you're, you're more certain clarify the eight of wands you pull the nine of swords here there could be some stress and some anxiety right going on uh, you may be wondering damn am i going to be able to really achieve the things that i want like i'm setting my, my my sights and i'm aiming for my targets and i'm trying to go in this direction i think you are i think you will the nine of swords is you know saying that you got to be patient it's not going to happen overnight but keep the positivity right keep that positivity clarify the three of pentacles you have the ace of wands because what you're doing is giving you feedback and it's inspiring you here and a lot of you are taking your gifts skills talents and abilities here and you're really starting to use them and you're starting to create with them and i think that's gonna be something that really motivates you here also too when it comes to your work environment the people around you i see good cooperation i like this clarify the seven of cups you have the six of wands you get in, you're getting success <laughs> you're moving into <clears throat> newer successes as well i like this clarify the knight of cups here you have the chariot which talks about triumph victory and success moving in the direction of your dreams moving in your ideal direction of your ambitions knight of cups is all about you know pursuing your vision right and pursuing the things that you want to emotionally experience and you're you're making a lot of progress here 
clarify the emperor. You have the devil card. Clarify the two of swords. You have the judgment card here. This emperor and the devil is not negative. Both of these cards, you know, the devil is Capricorn, which deals with discipline, structure, you know, being critically tenacious when it comes to your goals. And the emperor is very, in a way, similar. And so I see you because you're disciplined and you're staying on track with, with these things and you're, and you're, and you're sticking to uh, the structures of things to accomplish what you want. You're now starting to be like, oh shit, like if I, I, I'm seeing what I'm capable of, and I see what I'm capable of here. You did pull this Two of Swords, or this judgment on the Two of Swords, which is, was the decision here that I was, uh, that I was talking about. And so let's actually pull more cards on this and see what this decision is. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and you have the temperance card here. <laughs> I think there's something newer also that's going to enter into your awareness this week. It's going to be something newer that you're going to want to create. It's going to be it's going to be something that it's going to be something with the six of swords. It's something it's something newer. Um, and that temperance card, I think you're needing to really think things through first and let and see how things happen and see how things work out. Uh, but I do see you eventually getting started with this newer endeavor with the Ace of Pentacles or being able to act on this opportunity here. You pull this Hidden Realms card. It says create conscious awareness here. And one thing that I'm picking up is, you know, if you're feeling your intuition is pulling you in a direction and it's a newer direction, you need to listen to your intuition and act on your intuition with this guardian card. Um, and, you know, don't, I almost kind of sense like maybe you're wondering, well, like, what is it? What are they going to think about it? Or what are people going to think about it? Or how are people going to perceive me? It's like, no, it's like, that's not important. It's, what's important is like following your internal bliss here. You pull this embracing card. So there's something new happening in your life and you're entering into a new chapter and so the universe is saying just to clarify again like to embrace like stepping into a newer you know gateway going going in the direction of the newer gateway that's opening itself up to you really good read you have this waterfall card it says persistence here so I think the universe is just saying, you know, nothing can stop you. Just be persistent with what you're doing and you will have like your breakthroughs. You will have your successes. Uh, but it is very important for you to remain consistent and persistent here. And stay and being devoted spiritually to what your cause is. Wow, Libra, your reading came through pretty quick. So that's what I got for you, Libra. I'm actually, I'm actually going to leave your reading here. I appreciate you for watching. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, again, that link will be down below in the description. The readings are on sale too. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Also, hit the notification button bell as well, so that way you do get notified when I upload your videos or whenever I go live. I do go live quite a bit, and I also do Super Chat questions, so where you can send a Super Chat question, and like I can answer any question you have you know, with the tarot. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. The support really does go a long way, and I always appreciate it. And otherwise than that, Libra, I'm going to leave your reading here. I'm wishing you the best on your journey and for the week. And if you have any feedback, of course, you can just leave that down below in the comments. Otherwise than that, I'll see you later. Bye, Libra.